Hello, and uh, I guess welcome. Hopefully this goes well. Welcome to a new Let's Play, although I'm recording this in August. Because I want to record a bit in advance, although it's been a pain in the ass, because trying to keep up with my current LPs, but... Anyways. It is easy to let time slip by without a second thought. That's how his mind sounds, by the way. I assume those are his thoughts, anyway. I haven't played this since February. At least, judging by the last trophy I unlocked, anyway. Green grass, the brightly vanishing sun, and hair. This is not the intro I had in mind, to be honest. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, let's, let's record for this, this like, LP, this game. What the first part start of, like, me making a stupid voice? Of course. Now, I haven't even said what the game is, although it's in the title, obviously. And, uh, well, this is actually a uh, remake of sorts of an old game. Like, over a decade old game at that. So Young Han, Junior Homeroom, she was there. Did they have any animal than that? But that intro was in the original as well. Because I'd actually briefly played it years ago. It is. Made in Unity. A lot of games seem to be like that nowadays. Man, it's been ages. has a very bizarre soundtrack. Just wait till you hear some of the more bizarre tracks. He's like, wait, that wasn't a bizarre track? It's like, oh, it even shows it right there. Look at that, man. I cleared hard mode in under three hours. I was a freaking pro at this game early this year. I wasn't at first. It took me like 20 plus hours to clear on normal difficulty this time. But the reason for that was, one, I didn't have a clue and two, all the puzzles confuse me, so that's kind of just point one, really. And the other thing was, I didn't have, like, all the patches for it installed, so that it's, you know, more up to date. Because the version I was playing on there, normal mode didn't have the tips, which it does now. You get, like, hints on normal and lower difficulties. Although it still says that it's only on very easy, but it is very easy, easy, and normal mode. You get tips and hints and stuff for what to do. You don't get them on hard or hell mode, which is the highest difficulty. And uh, I was playing on normal mode, and not only did I have to deal with all that, but also there's this one, like, thing that attacks you from time to time and it was a lot more persistent before the patches and it could actually do damage so it made playing through the game really difficult but you know when I played through the game multiple times like the last trophy unlock was clearing hell, mo hell mode aka the highest difficulty mode seven times so you can tell man unlike Resident Evil for example pro at this game but I haven't played in eight years. um there's something I want to do first, though. Well, I've, it's been ages, so I can't quite remember how we uh, go about that. Maybe it's a collection list, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, like, play on hard mode first, by the way. I'm gonna play for it multiple times. But I'm gonna go for a hard mode and get all the ghost collection out of the way. The old figurines you can only get on hell mode. Uh, this isn't actually it, though, is it? It's like... No, ignore that. 
Don't want to show the costumes. Although, saying that though, I'm looking for the costumes. Where are the bloody costumes? It wouldn't be in download content, I imagine. Uh, maybe game options, no? It's been ages, I can't remember shit. Maybe it was. Okay. So, um, have I got them? No. Nope. But the default's on. It's like you got all these costumes, right? It's like, oh, but they're only on the store. Only w Every character only has one costume that you unlock in the game, and some of the requirements are ridiculous. Mostly for the uh, other characters. But anyway, I don't want to spoil all the characters' appearances, so I will off screen just set them all back to their default costumes. Yeah, I didn't even realize I had to click freaking twice to freaking change it. Anyway, let's start a new game. Hard news. You know, on hell mode, you can't manually save. And uh, there's an ending collection, right? Which I've completed, but haven't because I haven't completed all of the extra characters' endings on hard and hell mode. But hell mode essentially makes it so that it only auto saves. And when you get an ending, that save file is automatically gone. So you have to play through hell mode once each for each ending. And it is, well, hell, to say the least. More suspenseful and harder to play. Can you remember what to do? Will the capture card screw you? That's, that's the thing I've been dreading about. Give her a little gift along with her lost diary. Because apparently she left her. Well, yeah, we did see that she accidentally left her diary when she went off with her friend. But I was being consumed by the school. By the way, I'd only kind of mentioned it, but this is a remake of a 2001 game, I think it was, made in, called White Day. Uh, it's a Korean game. I briefly played it once, like, years ago, and it was quite different looking, to say the least, and it also has some differences, too. You'll see as the game progresses if you've played the original White Dead, the differences or seen someone play it. I mean, I never fully played through it because I suck at PC games. Mouse and keyboard is just not for me, man. Man, it's been ages. I should go to Junior Home Room 8 first. No, I shouldn't. I, I remember things. I mean,. This, for example, right here. This is how, uh, well, I might, depending on how much of a pain in the ass that thing is, I might show clips from my original brief playthrough of the original Bike Day. I only did one video on it. I was like, should I LP this? And pretty much everyone was like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> because it was not only did I suck at the game, but there was this annoying alarm thing. But anyways, I was playing it like this. I'd be like, eh. Sense like that because I couldn't turn the camera. I mean, I could. It's just I'm not good with mouse and keyboard. I don't think there's anything I can't remember. Whoa, even now I'm like, whoa, that is pretty freaking sensitive, isn't it? What have we got here? I felt the pen. These are very important. Hey, don't close the door that way. Oh man, I'm gonna suck at this. It's been, like, months. I don't know, I felt the pen. What are they for? Well, this will point it out. Or, will it? Oh wait, it won't, because we're on hard mode, so it doesn't even give the little information things, I think. Or did I simply turn that off? I can't remember. I might have, because it was annoying me after a while, but, uh, oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, I turned it off at some point, because I was like, that's annoying, but 
Might as well put it on for the sake of, you know, starting the LP or whatever. So it's not going to point it out, but essentially this is where you save the game. And essentially the pens are kind of like ink ribbons in Resident Evil, essentially. You use one up and whatnot. Like a crane. A crane made with black origami paper. There's a lot of little things like this in the game that... Like that, the origami stuff. It's like, it all goes to uh, the ghost list and you can't really clear the ghost list on any difficulty lower than hard mode because you can't solve all the puzzles and get all the ghosts unless you're on hard or hell mode, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but not really once you've played the game enough times to get used to it. You're not even going to give me a tip? Magazine pickup instructions. This is a notice from the student body. If you haven't received the school magazine, please come pick up your copy at Junior Homeroom 6. New and transfer students are especially encouraged to get a copy, as it contains information about the school and a school map. Lovely. There's more stuff to be found. Well, here we go, first tip. SMS provides a good guideline for beginners. You won't receive any text on normal level or above. It's a lie. Although it, I said it was very easy mode, but... It's not, actually. I guess they did patch that, I guess, and I just forgot. But essentially on normal mode and below, not normal mode and above, essentially you'll get tips. Uh, what button was it? It's been a long time. Oh, that crouches. Uh, maybe it was... Oh, yeah. Um, where? Yeah, messages. Out of service. Service cannot be provided at this time as your location cannot be confirmed. You may experience problems with voicemails and SMS service. Essentially, you'd get uh, tips and hints on normal difficulty and below on your phone there. But, playing on hard mode so we won't be getting any of those. Building maintenance status as of March 9th for the installation of light fixture next to the workshop is scheduled to be completed by tomorrow. Make sh please make sure to tidy up all tools and ladders after their use. The wiring of the workshop is currently under repair. The workers, please do not close the steam valve of the ventilation window. I can't remember this thing. I think with interactions. When an interactive subject is near you, circular icon will be displayed. You can interact by moving the pointer and clicking on X. You can move the pointer slowly by pressing R2 down and uh, moving the right hand leg stick. You can acquire items or documents. If they are usable items, their images will be displayed. Now there's nothing we can actually get in here, but I think there is something we can examine. Yeah, right there. There's a hole I can't figure out its purpose. It's like, huh. It's very vague. This game is full of stuff like that, where you're just like, H how do you solve that? I had to use a walkthrough for quite a bit of it, because I didn't have a clue. And, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, also these things. This fly looks like Ji Han. It's like, who the hell's Ji Han? Well, she was in the intro, she was the girl with the glasses. But essentially, there's an extra character as well. If you've seen the cover of this game, the extra character is on the cover. Which is a bit weird when you play through the game the first time, because you won't encounter her. You've got to examine all of these drawings, and get the main character's ending, at least one of them, in order for her to appear on the next playthrough, and beyond that point, essentially. Which is a bit weird. So, you see why I turned off the tutorial? Because it gets annoying when you play through multiple times. If you go near an open door, a circular icon will pop up. If you press X to open or close the door, if you close, close, it'll say, you can use the key only if it's the right one. If no key message pops up, the door can be open with your current status. But of course, it doesn't require a lock. A lot of these uh, doors are locked, though, so they require a key. Said it wrong there, didn't I? And look, how redundant. There must be sufficient light around to acquire items, documents, or to interact with objects. 
You can turn on the lights in classrooms by pressing the light switch. Light switches are marked with a small light, so you can easily find them in the dark. Light switches are easily found near the door. By the way, this annoying little tutorial pop-up is only for, like, the first section of the game. Which is kind of annoying in itself, because later on in the game, when the puzzles get really convoluted, it would be nice to actually get a hint, but you only get hints on normal and below. But like I said, I originally played on normal mode without the patches, so I didn't actually get those, so I had to freaking combination of figuring it out myself and looking it up, essentially, but... Anyways, a note from the class president. Beyond Tai Kimi, because of you, the chemical solvent was taken from me by the teacher. I think he's mad about the time you were fooling around and spilled it all over the garden and killed the trees. What am I supposed to do now? I have chemistry class tomorrow. You have to take care of this. You can either go and beg him, or if you want chicken, go get it yourself from the gym storage room safe. What? Eh, uh, wrong button. By the way, the kids say that he is very forgetful, so he hides the medals he's won in the storage room and uses them as the passcode for the safe. I can't remember if I had trouble with what this is related to. I think I might have, which is, in hindsight, kind of dumb, because it seems pretty straightforward, really. But that's for later. <laughs> Healing items, you can recover health points and catch your breath by using items such as instant lunchbox, coffee, soy milk, tranquilizer, and first aid kit. Press yours from a healing item to in the inventory. You know, with everyone nowadays online, is just like, oh, soy boys, and shit to describe people as an insult. It just made me laugh when I saw this, essentially. I can't remember if it was in the original as well or not. But still. Can you open lockers? Most of them don't contain anything. Although a useful thing to note is if you turn the light on for the first time and look towards the lockers, you will see an object shining in one if there's actually something inside, essentially. That's useful to know. School magazine. This is the school magazine published by Yodu High School. I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest. Since it's the first issue of the school year, there's a map of the school in the appendix for freshmen. Map. You can see the current location and the structure of the school by using the map. The area marks in red means that you have never visited the area site. In a difficulty level below easy mode, you can check the guide that can help you with the scenario. Although I think it also applies to normal mode with all the patches. I don't think there's anything else in here. Thrilling, isn't it? Don't worry, we will get the suspense. Just not just yet. There is something over there that I'll pick up, but let's first go here. I think there's someone else in the school. Hmm. How do we get in? Yeah. I wonder how we can do it. Oh my, you totally startled me just then. Sorry, I didn't know you guys were here. Oh, I've seen him. He's a new transfer student. Hmm, really? Anyway, I'm leaving. See ya. I'm Sung Ah Kim, homeroom 8. I'm Heeman Lee, our homeroom is... Just, just introduce ourselves. Hmm. This was out of the blue. But it's nice to meet you. So, why did you come to school at this hour? That's not your business! Uh, I left something here. Yeah? I'm glad that you're here. You are going to help me out. No, why should I help you? Okay, what am I going to help you with? Mm, just something. Follow me. Ji 
Ken and I didn't know what we were going to do. Goodness, a guy like you showed up. Man, just looking at this game again after so long. It's like it's it's been months, but I've I re remember all this because I played for it so many goddamn times. It's a good thing that it's months later cuz man, I was so tired of the game months ago when I was playing it. Welcome. First time in the girls' bathroom? I could have actually walked in there before that, but it would have made no difference. So you want me to stand here and wait until you're done or no? No. Okay, so what kind of help do you need in here? Why? Worried I want something weird? I left my book in the home ec room. I can't get in because it's locked. I happen to know that the keys are in the auto shop classroom, but it's locked as well. But you... Can crawl through that vent up there and get me the keys. No, yeah, Jerry. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. I knew that you'd help. Hmm. We'll need a ladder, and we'll also need some sort of cutting tool. Why don't you look around? Bossy sounding there, wasn't it? I think there's something else in here somewhere. I think, maybe. I can't remember. What is with toilets in Asia here? It is strange. I don't know. Oh, wait. I think it's. Oh, man, it's been so long. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> School coins. You can use them for vendor machines, which can get you healing items. If you look around the school, you'll be able to find the things you need. You know, there's actually two achievements, right? That are linked to apparently flirting with them. And from what I've looked up, it means like clicking on their legs and shit like that. And then they'll eventually knock you out, which is two achievements in one, I'd guess, there. Which I haven't got, for that very reason. It's like, no. It's just like, hell mode ten times, which I haven't done, technically, because I still need to play for it three times. Fair enough, but that? God damn it, why do you make it like that? I think I saw a ladder by the auto shop earlier. Don't you think we'll need something like wire cutters to cut the metal screen? What are you doing? Didn't you find it yet? Hey! You said you would help me! <laughs> She's getting annoyed now. Ugh, I didn't know you were like this. Well, I'm just like, hey, so what am I doing? Ugh, you're so annoying! Yep, just was waiting for the dialogue options to run out. Oh, wait. Sorry, I turned the light off. I always do that. Well, I don't always, but usually would always constantly do that until she gets annoyed. Because if you talk to a character too lot, many times, they'll eventually get annoyed at you. So it's kind of like, you know, like in video games where you just talk to an NPC as many times as you can, essentially. Because you can, just to see how many dialogue options there are. But then they'll get annoyed in this game. But anyways, this is a thing I didn't pick up. This is one of the ghost stories, which is one of the ghost lists. The secret of the pond. A long time ago, there used to be a small pond between the main building and the auditorium. They say that the pond was created by a bomb during the war, and it had obliterated a refugee tent that had been pitched there. Obviously, every refugee in the tent died. It was said that the bottom of the pond was tainted red with their blood. There's another story about the pond as well. If you write to your crush asking them to come to the pond and they show up, you'll live happily ever after th with them. A warning, though, if your crush doesn't show up, then you will die by the pond's curse. <laughs> Thus, I'm a quiet and shy student, had a crush on an older student named Chan He. Yo, I don't know Korean names very well. Her crush deepened, and she couldn't deal with her longing anymore. 
She finally decided to write a letter to Chan Yol and wait, wait at the pond. But her letter never made it to him. The letter passed through many hands, but somewhere down the line it got lost. Dorsum had no idea that her letter was never delivered and waited for him all night at the pond's edge. The cold night spent by the pond caused her to come down with a serious fever, and she had to miss school for quite some time. After Dorsum narrowly recovered, she returned to school and was even quieter and more timid than before. Her friends tried as much as they could to console her, but she ended up transferring to a different school. It was only a few days later that her body was found floating in the pond. It is said that on the night with a waning moon, a ghost appears who silently looks in from outside the building. They say that the water-bloated ghost with eyes gleaming wildly underneath the dripping wet hair searches for the boy who has her letter. So yeah, there's about 20 of those. But it's not just the letter, the, well, not letters, the stories. You get something else, there's something else you gotta, gotta encounter, you know, to complete the ghost list properly. We're up to 26 minutes here, so, um, you know what, I'm just gonna hope that it's auto-saved instead. And stop the recording now. I want to see if the recording is good enough, essentially. It already seems to have taken up. Like, three or four gigabytes just recording this part. So, I'll see you next time, beers. See you next time. So I'm going to upload this on the day of recording, and whatever your viewers decide... Oh man, if you decide that, yes, LP this game alongside, I'm going to be like, No! I suck at PC games, and this would be the first time LPing a game of this sort without knowing anything. Well... Technically, I do know a few things about the game, it's just I haven't actually properly played the game, you know, so I don't know what to expect when shit goes down. Hey, what's that? How do I click on things? Can I click on it? No. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to crouch. What was the crouch button again? Oh, crap, I can't remember. Yeah, it's space. Got it. It's a coin! You got anything for me, Clark? No, you do not. Anything? Oh, I was checking that. Kurotanika? Ya! Sorry, I'm not telling you. 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 난 8반 김성아야. 너는? 어, uh, yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? My name is Blue Dragon. <웃음> 재밌는 이름이다. <웃음> 아, 미안. Well, to be fair, it doesn't, it's not your everyday name. 그럼 이 시간에 학교에는 무슨 일이야? 어, uh, what? I wasn't paying attention. So, uh, whatever. 뭐야? 너도 소용이 쫓아다니는 애구나? 하여간 남자애들은 너 전학 온지 얼마 안 돼서 잘 모르지? 소영이 말이야. So young is so young. Oh no. I remember this. I remember this from the LP. This obnoxious sound. Oh god. Oh god. Hello? 저 소리 좀 꺼져! Yeah, I'll be right on that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I can use this one, ah, yeah. Oh, is it inventory? Yeah, so let's get some soybean milk that I've heard so much about. How do I use inventory? I don't know, actually. How do I use it? I don't know. And get right on that. I'm stuck behind something. Here we go. I think we tried this game. Yeah, it won't open. There ought to be something. I know there's a chair that could be used, but no. Logically, he doesn't think to do that. Shut up! 